Hey, this is Taylor from Notes of Old Speed Shaman, formatting trick number two for the Office Timeline Plus add-in. How to quickly change the shapes and the positions of your shapes within your graphic. Let's say, for example, that I don't like these downward-facing triangles for my milestones would rather have flags. Well, instead of building a flag as you normally would, which would include inserting a triangle, tipping it on its side to the right or to the left, grabbing a line, getting a straight line, and building this flag, and then trying to incorporate it in for each and every one of my milestones. Again, because the information is already within the Office Timeline add-in, I can simply do that up in the Office Timeline tab. So for example, if I navigate to the Office Timeline tab, I don't even have to have anything selected within my graphic. Just come up to the Office Timeline tab. Notice that there's a milestone shape dropdown, and one of the options is a flag. Again, this is a two-shape object. I select it, and boom. All of my milestones turn into flags, and if here at the end my sign-off, I want it to be up a little bit, I simply can just manually move that myself, select accept, and the Office Timeline add-in will automatically update its position for me, which is ridiculously cool. Now on top of that, if I don't like my milestones staggered like this, I'd rather have them on top and bottom. The Office Timeline add-in makes it super easy. Just come up to my milestone, again, Office Timeline tab, milestone dialog box. I can manually click or place objects above or below the time band, or I can simply click this icon, which will inverse the different milestones. I'll just select them like that. So it's skipping every other one, select OK, and watch as the office timeline automatically makes those adjustments for me. And again, you can move any one of these yourself and put it wherever you want. So maybe I actually want it to be all one. I'll put a T for top for alignment. I'll select accept and the Office Timeline add-in will change everything back for me. Now you can do the same thing with shapes for your tasks. So if you don't want rectangles like this, simply come up, you don't even have to select anything, come up to the Office Timeline tab, shape, let's make them these chevrons instead. They're quickly going to adjust, very quick and easy to do. And if you'd rather not have them below your time band is what this is called in Office Timeline terms, you can simply come up to your position, select above, the actual task will rotate above, and you can still accept the lower position for your timeline, which still leaves a ton of room here at the top that we could still add tasks to our timeline if we wanted to. So that's formatting trick number two, changing your shapes and or the position of your shapes within your layout using the Office Timeline built-in functionality. This again is hands down the fastest way that I know of to build a timeline or Gantt chart in PowerPoint while still retaining full control of the graphic. To get the full functionality of the add-in, you do need to get the paid version, but it'll more than pay for itself in time savings with the very first graphic you build with it. Next up, we'll look at how easy it is to add or remove vertical or horizontal task lines within your Gantt chart or time series. If you want a link to the Office Timeline add-in or a cheat sheet of the steps covered here, look for the links below in the description box. If you want to see more videos like this about the Office Timeline add-in, leave me a note in the comments section below. This is Taylor from Nuts of Bold Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour. Come find my task connectors, scroll down. There's not a live preview here, but I know that it's the vertical. I'm gonna select thick, and notice that the thick lines are automatically added. Now I could then select another task. Notice that it's purple, so it's the same one. I could again add or hide those connectors, but for now, that's all I wanted to do with the graphic. So that's 